So this is the Xtool D8 automotive scan tool. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at everything you need to know about this kit before you go ahead and buy it, or 21 questions and answers that you may have about this product. And guys, this part is really important. If you are interested in buying this tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video because that will take you to the genuine and official product. Unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist. They can damage your vehicle. So make sure you're going with the genuine article. As I say, links in the description below this video. This is what you can expect in the package. So we've got a nice protective carry case here. We've got a certificate of quality and an instruction manual. We've got the tool itself, which is that does have a nice back stand so you can stand it up like this. Uh, this is the cable which connects the tool to the OBD2 port on your vehicle. This is the charging um, accessory. Now this may look a little bit different depending on where you are in the world. Obviously we're in the UK, so this is the UK type of plug we receive. And of course a USB cable as well so you can charge it via the USB. So we're in the vehicle now and one thing you may notice is that when the tool is plugged into the vehicle it is also charging. Uh, so not only can you charge it through the, uh, the mains adapter or the USB plug but it'll also charge while it's plugged into the vehicle and it'll take its charge from the vehicle's battery. So what is the Xtool D8? Well it's a multi-system, multi-manufacturer, um, multi-service function diagnostic package that um, would just go absolutely fine fit straight into a main dealer garage, um, any sort of workshop, any specialist workshop or any high-end or even middle to low-end uh, sort of garage service um, environment. Um, it covers all manufacturers and I'll show you those in a moment. It covers all of the systems and a lot of service functions as well. So it's a really, really advanced, um, highly powerful package. Um, I've put, uh, already put the links in the description as to where you can pick up this tool. Remember, please make sure you go for the genuine product because the fakes and clones can damage your vehicle. Um, and how much is the tool? Well, it's £699 at the moment. That's uh, on the UK market. Um, converting that to US dollars, I don't know, maybe is that, what, $850, $900, something like that. Uh, but in the UK, it's 699 and you get that with free delivery as well via the link below. Um, and how is it powered? Well, it has an internal battery, as you saw earlier. It was, it was being operated without um, a battery, uh, without it being plugged in. We've got it plugged in now when it is charging, so um, it does have an internal battery, but you, so you don't need it to be plugged in anywhere for the tool to switch on and have a look around the, uh, the menu systems. So what manufacturers are covered? Well, let's have a look at that. So if we go to diagnosis, uh, you can either select your, uh, sorry, if the sunlight is getting on the screen a bit there, you can either select your region. So these are the, the European manufacturers. So hopefully you can see that. And I'll just scroll down. Notice there are a few high-end manufacturers like Aston Martin, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, Maserati is there as well, as well as all of the, uh, the standard and the regular vehicles. Uh, when we go to the Asian market, you can see these. Then the American market, and then the Chinese market. So those are the manufacturers which it covers. Uh, and what about the systems within those manufacturers? So that really depends on the vehicle. So for example, this vehicle that we're in right now is a Porsche, and I'm gonna go in and click on manual selection, select our vehicle, and we'll go system selection. So this is gonna give you a list of all of the potential systems that I can communicate with. Um, as I say, depending on the vehicle, you will get a completely different set of um, options, but ultimately it's gonna cover all of the main systems like the engines, the airbags, ABS, transmission, power steering, instrument clusters, tire pressures, uh, parking sensors, suspension controls, um, door locks, things like that. It is, um, it is bi-directional as well, so you can do like actuation tests as well. I'll, I'll try and get that into the video as well if I can. Uh, but, so those are the systems that I will cover. Now, when it comes to actually diagnosing a fault, what information will it give? Well, let's have a look at this one, for example, because you can see we've got the check engine light on this vehicle, and we're gonna go to engine electronics, which is DME. And we can go to read trouble code and this is giving us a fault code of P010400 mass or volume airflow circuit intermittent. Um, 
in actual fact, we just simulated this fault. We um, unclipped the uh, the mass airflow sensor to generate the check engine light. So um, what we've put it back together, but the check engine light is still showing, and that's very characteristic of what will happen. So what you can do is just go to clear trouble code, or you can go back and click on clear trouble code on that section. Uh, and while I do that, just keep an eye on the check engine light and the message here. So clear trouble code, clear all fault codes, yes, yes. And then we have the messages and the warning disappear. So that is very characteristic of what um, you know quite a tuba tool can do to be honest with you um, but that is just giving you information about the the level of um, information you would get you'd get the fault code you'd get the description of the fault code um, on this section for every module you can read the ECU information and then you can also well go into uh, live data well I'll do it here seeing as we're in this screen so we'll go to live data and there are lots of different um, sort of parameters and sections that you can get live data from um, so as, a, as we look at this one here let's have a look at the diesel particulate filter uh, which is the DPF and this is the live data that you will get so you get like um, calculated suit loads um, distance since last regeneration fuel consumption since last regeneration ash volume and then you can record this information as well um, so we can come out of that that is just one section of the uh, the live data um, let's have a look at say temperatures you can get all of the temperatures of the gearboxes uh, control units engine oil fuel temperatures etc so it gives you lots of good information there um, and there's lots of other information bits as well that you can get live data from so when it comes to special functions or the service functions we need to go back to the main menu for that and we go to special function and then this brings up a list of all of the special functions that you can carry out. So you've got things like oil reset, throttle cal calibration, electronic parking brakes, steering angle sensor, key programming, instrument cluster, which is mileage correction, but I wouldn't recommend buying the tool purely for that because it just covers a very small section of vehicles. Um, so the chances are it'll probably miss your vehicle. Uh, gearbox match, battery registration, injector coding, DPF regeneration and reset, gear learning, TPMS reset, power balance, tire upgrade, transport mode, lots of other suspension calibration, um, windows, seat matching, start, stop, reset, and a few others as well. Um, so that is the level of special functionality that you will get from the D8. It's a little bit different to the D7. You do get more from the uh, the actual D8. In fact, the um, the D8 does offer a few extra uh, things over the D7. I'll come to that in a second. Um, so it's a touch screen system, as you probably already worked out. There are no alternative buttons the only alternative buttons you've got is this one on top which is like a power button and that just simply powers off the screen and you can pop it back on as you see wish um, so what about the updates for this tool you get free updates for three years after the three-year period is up the updates are 150 pounds per year okay so uh, it's very easy to do as well you just click on the update option um, in fact we've just or we've already updated this this morning but you click on the update it might not show anything on this screen here because we might not get, be getting a connection but it's telling us all software up to date because we literally just did that a few minutes ago um, but you just need to click connect to the Wi-Fi click the tool to the Wi-Fi and then uh, click on the updates and it'll, it'll go through everything automatically for you very very easy to do and how much does it how much sorry how does it compare to the uh, the D7 well I'm going to do a full video on that because the D7 is uh, a little bit less than this the D7 costs like 479 pounds and um, but it does have a few less functions so the D7 has like 26 special functions the D8 has 31 special functions and in addition to that this can also do things like ECU coding um, other special functions like engine speed control fuel trim reset um, fuel trim enable uh, cylinder power balance injector balance crankshaft sensors relearning idle learn reset VGT turbo calibration zero point calibration ABS initialization etc um, but obviously the, there is a price difference for that for the extra uh, functionality that you get I'm just gonna put this visor down a second see if we can get a better better screen there 
Um, yeah, so the, the, this this is more expensive, but it is um, it does have more functionality. Whether or not those extra functions are suitable for you and your needs or not is a, an entirely different matter, I guess. Um, I guess only you can decide that. Uh, help and support, you can either contact the people you bought it from or you can click into is it more and go to X tool and then this takes you direct to the Xtool website and then on there you can click on to support um, and I guess you can or support there's bound to be somewhere on here where you can contact them directly and they, they're quite good at giving you help actually Xtool from, from my previous experience with dealing with them when I've got an issue or not necessarily an issue but I'm struggling to, to find a specific function uh, they're very good at getting back to you and showing you what you can do um, so we'll come out of that uh, or do we just go back to the main screen there we go right um, yeah, so what about printing faults? You can do that. You click on report, you go on to diagnostic report, and it'll tell you what you've previously done. So if we've come for this one example, you can set up certain uh, like bits of information. You can, cut, you can set up your addresses, your companies, and things like that, so it looks all professional for you. Uh, it's telling you the vehicle that was worked on and the codes that were given, and also the live data that was given at the time of the test. So this is the live data that we looked at. Um, you can either print it, send it to a printer, you can share it to an email and print it that way. Um, or the other option is obviously just exit out of that. Um, languages, when it comes to languages, it is a multi-language tool. You go to setting, language is already the top one. And then we look at all the different languages that you can select. Units as well. You can set up your units, you go workshop information. You can, this is where you populate those reports. So you put this information in here and it will populate it into the report that we just saw. Uh, we saw the box with instructions and everything it comes with. Would I recommend it to anybody who maybe hasn't even used the tool before or is looking to uh, sort of expand their workshop or get better tools in their workshop or they just want to look after a few different vehicles uh, in their fleet, family, friends, circle or what have you? Uh, well, I would say absolutely yes to that because it's very easy to use. It takes you through every single thing step by step. It's very, it's very, it's impossible really to go wrong. You can do it manually, but you can just click on automatic detection so it automatically finds your vehicle and then it'll automatically tell you which special functions it will cover within that vehicle because the list of special functions that I showed you earlier may not necessarily cover every single vehicle um, but these are the ones that it covers in this particular vehicle so there we go um, what about the other menu icons well, there wasn't really that much um, with special functions reports remote control I guess you can um, get the engineers I think this is where they can take control of your device to maybe try something um, but we don't really need to do that right now um, that one would be right, automatic scan is just automatically scans the vehicle updates the settings would be new and we've been to that one as well um, doubles up as a tablet as well so if you look at like uh, this screen here you can use the uh, the world option and that'll get you online to you know it can you can be using it for games or you can be using it to surf the internet through through the nighttime and through the daytime it can be used as you know your diagnostic tool for your shop or your workshop um, and how fast is delivery delivery on this tool is um, I'm led to believe one to two working days so there it is but that is a, a sort of a rundown of what you can expect from the uh, the X Tool D8, I hope it's answered a few questions there for you. Um, as I say, please make sure you use the link in the description below if you are interested in buying this tool, because fakes and clones do exist and they can damage your vehicle as well. Um, and that's about it for now. I think we've covered everything else. I'm sure there's something that I probably haven't covered, um, but you may be able to find that somewhere else online. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.